Hello and welcome to Frank's School. Uh, 177th day. Uh, this is one of those days that it's like it's a field trip because they're going to be uh, probably 20. There'll probably be 20 separate videos for this day. Uh, and I'm not every day going to stop and speak to you uh, into the camera uh, here. Uh, once I get going, I'll probably just go through the Gifhorn International Mill uh, Wind and Water Mill Museum. But <clears throat> I still think it's worth it uh, uh, to stop here for a moment. What you've just seen, if you've been following this, is the models made by Horst Robel. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> I want to remind you that if you pause, it doesn't always work. But uh, because I move the camera too much, I, I really need to move it and stop, move it and stop. Thomas keeps telling me that. Shirley keeps telling me that. I, I forget. I get excited. But if I'm not moving the camera too fast, if you pause, you can study what you're looking at. I do that. Uh, I mean, I went here not simply as a tourist to, for enjoyment. I, I went to study, uh, to, to document, and then I can afterward go and study. Uh, and so don't forget that you have that option of pausing as you watch these. The model making <clears throat> is what you see in that last video. It's, it, I've written dazzling here. It's unbelievable, <laughs> really, that somebody <clears throat> could do that and would do that. Uh, you know, it began as a hobby, but a lifetime hobby. I mean, if any of you are hand workers, as you say in German, a craftsman, you, you have some appreciation of what that takes such skilled labor. And, and that's on a small basis, the models. Uh, what you're going to see today uh, in the next video is on a full scale. Well, you see some of that there too, a full, yes, you certainly do, inside the A-frame building. It's dazzling craftsmanship in wood and, and iron, uh, you know, whatever it really took. <laughs> Me, one, uh, you know, he, could I build a uh, a little, a big, tiny mill like that? I don't think. Well, not tiny. I couldn't do that. But maybe. Maybe on the farm. Probably on the farm. I'll build something. I would almost say certainly. I will build a windmill of some sort. It may be no higher than I am tall, but <clears throat> it'll be functioning. I mean, it's my plan. Um, now, I wrote here my project. Uh, after this year is over, we reach 180 and the school year's over, and then uh, late, and before that happens, I'll tell you what's going to happen next. But on the farm, I'm continually working on all kinds of projects, especially in the summer. And one of the things I'm very recently working on is a place which will, in effect, be a bench where one could build a water wheel or a windmill, uh, something that's round. It, it, I'll be filming it eventually and, and showing you as it develops, but I'm putting it where the Cooper's shop will be. So uh, you'll, you'll hear more of that uh, later. Now in the next video you're going to see actually the inside uh, where I leave the models and we go to the full scale size of things. A Hungarian floating mill. Uh, and it, it will probably speak for itself. I mean as ever I move my camera too fast. I know that. Don't forget to pause. But uh, uh, I mean if you're as uh, amazed <laughs> at this as I am, continue to be, and was, you might think about making a trip there uh, uh, if you could afford it. I mean, to at least bring it into a vacation and, and go there so you can actually take all day. <laughs> we, I, we, we might have been there for five hours, uh, but maybe two days, uh, and, and go through and just look at all that stuff in awe. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to go on here with a uh, with uh, the next video. I uh, hope to see you uh, next time.